Daniel Ballard here to demonstrate the GXL18 Gold Tester. Comes in a very convenient carry box, helps protect it. All the parts inside, let's see what we got. In the box we find this plate with the electric contact, the necessary wires, an eraser for helping remove any dirt or covering from the metal you want to test, a file for when we're suspicious something might be heavily plated or something like that. We have the gold tester wand uh, that happens to have a chemical inside, a, a paste essentially inside that helps the tester work so we don't have to mess around with the bottles of acid like we do a scratch tester. And of course here we have the real heart of the machine. Battery low indicator, Y for testing yellow metals, W for white metals, R for red metals, G for green metals. Okay, first, let's look at how to connect the machine. To the machine. To the test plate. To the testing wand, the needle part. Snaps in. Move the end. It will just clean the tip real quick. And essentially, this is laid out for use. Now, let's pick a ring. All right, yellow mounting. Who knows? Let's see if it's gold, see what carrot it is. So, you put your jewelry in the clip. This essentially creates a kind of electrical connection. We're going to turn this dial a little bit until just a drop or so of the paste, testing paste, comes out the tip. There it is. Just that little bit, probably a little more than we strictly needed there, but that's okay. On the machine. Ready. Push Y for yellow. Thirteen carat. So just a little bit under, just a little bit conservative. Here I have a yellow ring. It might be gold. Let's test it and find out. Let's see a convenient way to hook into this ring is just like that. So what I've done is kind of created an electrical connection between everything. Turn this dial just a little bit to get a little bit of the testing paste available. Touch the ring with the paste that in effect makes the connection. Push Y for yellow. Fourteen carat, five eight three plum gold. Well, I sure hope so. This, after all, it could be one of your mountings. Let's try another one. Okay, I'll look at this ring. Find a convenient way to attach it, and I think for this ring, it's probably right there. little, there we go, right there, okay. Once again, turn to get just a little drop of the paste, touch the ring, complete the connection, push Y for yellow. Nine carat, let's push it again just to recheck it. There's no reason we can't test more than once. If for any reason the machine is getting a little bit of a bad read, it'll tend to read a little lower than what it really is. So you try it a couple of times, and sure enough, this is 10 karat yellow. This came right out of the showcase here, so I was confident this was 10 karat to begin with, and I wanted to recheck from the 9 karat. When you're buying scrap over the counter, feel free to recheck to your heart's content so you can buy with confidence. Let's try a white metal ring.
Let's see here. Again, I need just a little drop of the paste. Complete the connection, and I'm going to push W for white metal. Not gold. Let's double check. Not gold. Do not buy this ring. There you have it. This is a machine that any employee in your store could be trained to use pretty quickly and easily. It just takes a little bit of practice and it's well worth the money. Thanks for watching.